All right, cool. I'm gonna take you through finding a lawnmower that was out next to trash cans on trash day. I'm gonna assess it right there at the, on the street, and then if it has any potential, just bring it home and uh, fix it up and sell it. And actually, I just did. Uh, what you'll be seeing here is a video. I don't even know, I haven't put it together yet. It's multiple parts. <laughs> I gotta edit it. Um, on how I fixed it up. It was basically a pull starter. Uh, the blade was upside down. Uh, Might have been, yeah, there's excessive, a lot of excessive oil in it. Uh, air cleaner cover and air cleaner. Um, and the, the rear wheels were sticking a little bit. Um, and the recoil, yeah, the recoil starter, I think I said. But anyway, I just got done selling that and the lady had an older mower that actually runs. Her son just got done using that. And I sold the mower to her for 130, but then I went ahead and gave her like a $5 credit. And she just gave me this running lawnmower. So I'm getting ready to do it. It's actually missing an air cleaner cover and air cleaner as well. So I might stop by the lawnmower shop uh, here in a minute, <clears throat> pick up a spare part for that one right there and uh, sell it. <laughs> on Facebook, so I'll probably get a hundred bucks for that one today if I sell it. So that's it. Um, if uh, you enjoy this video you're about to see, uh, please. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm getting really close, um, and I'd appreciate if you'd subscribe. Um, all about uh, small engine stuff here on this channel. Uh, I've got a couple hundred videos. Uh, give me a, please give me a like, thumbs up comment make some comments on how you liked the video what would you have, what would you have done differently would you have sold it at the same price more or less um what other kind of videos are, would you be interested in and i'll uh, uh take a look at those comments i always do and try to uh make some better videos anyways all right little score have a good day all right, so we're going to take a look at this lawn measure that's sitting out by the trash. And we're going to check it out. What uh, I look for on this is uh, to see if it's locked up. The string is all pulled out. Um, but I want to look and see if... Oh, it's got... Okay, it doesn't look like there's a uh, lot of oil leakage. Is there any oil in it? It looks like it's way overfilled with oil. Okay, that could be a good thing. And uh, does the motor turn? We'll, we'll have to check because the uh, string's pulled out. Let's we'll take a look at the, uh, the blade. Okay. Okay, so it looks like it is functional. As the uh, blade does turn, the engine's not locked. It looks like it was just overfilled with oil. Let's see if we can turn this into some cash. So what I'm looking for is, uh, okay, everything's kind of functional. The, uh, the wheels are all there. There's no holes in the block. And the engine does turn, so should work. See if we can go turn it into some Okay, so just got the mower back home. We're going to take a look at what's going on here. So the pull rope has been pulled all the way out. It won't pull no more. The engine does spin by hand, grabbing the blades. Nothing seemed to be too outrageous about it. <clears throat> like it hasn't been hit or anything like that. Somebody's been working on it. The blade is upside down. So somebody has had that blade off. They put it back on upside down. That's uh, something, if you're ever looking at that. Um, I don't know if you can see the bevel side on that blade right here, right there where that bevel is. That's the cutting edge. That bevel should be up. On the top side so this blades upside down um, it doesn't look like there's any uh, sudden stoppage indications on the blade like it hit something major um, it is kind of it feels it does spin and uh, with the handle 
it's a little tight right now, but that's probably because the uh, the brake is on because the handle's not being pulled down right there. So it uh, that's that's actually the flywheel brake, and it controls the ignition to the spark plug as well. So we got that going on. The blade has to be flipped back over. You know, the, the big issue, uh, elephant in the room thing, is all of this oil. But if you look at the oil level on the dipstick, which I did before I taking it from the house, you see, see how deep that goes? That's like, you might not be able to see it on the video, but that oil goes to here. And do you see where the uh, fill holes are? Right there, you can see the two holes shining in the sun right there. Yep. That top hole is the top level. And where my finger is is where the oil was. So it's definitely an overfill condition, which is going to cause that to blow back out into the carburetor and then all over the deck. And that's probably what happened. I might have been having a little problem with the uh, carburetor. These internally tend to get jammed up. It's pretty easy to... Uh, clean it out I'll be showing that and uh, then this recoil starter uh, top side here we'll see what kind of condition this recoil starter spring is in um, there's usually a kind of a line between okay a pretty easy profit fixing these things up and it becoming your problem and so I didn't I didn't bring this home with the intention of making it my problem. So what I wanna do is try to get it fixed as soon as possible. Hey, if I put an hour into this thing and sell it, I might have a bag laying around actually for it as well. And even a, an air cleaner cover. I won't even, I won't even have an air, I won't sell this. Uh, if I don't have an air cleaner cover, I'm not even gonna buy one. I'm just gonna sell it as is without an air cleaner cover, but I'm gonna make it look nice and pretty. Okay, so wiping that oil off. Um, getting the blade turned around uh, is the least of the worries, but getting this recoil to work um, it's going to be draining the oil out, the excess oil, and I'll probably just go ahead and reuse it. Um, and then carburetor cleaning. So this is just uh, four bolts. I might just get the oil out fix the recoil and see if it'll start before I even pull this carburetor off, you know, why do it? But, uh, yeah, you can see, I mean, it's probably just full of oil in there, but, um, once we kind of work it out and get it out of the system, it's got, it's full of gas and it doesn't look contaminated. looks like fresh gas in there, actually. Let's see. And I smell it. It smells like something funky. Um, it does smell like ass a little bit, <laughs> mostly probably, but if it has a hard time running, we'll go ahead and drain the gas too. But so first, first thing first, going to drain the oil out to get it to a reasonable level and leave what's in there in there. Just get it down to the right level and, uh, give it a couple pulls and see if it'll even pop. Um, but I'm going to wipe this deck down after I do that. So first thing, get the engine, get it able to pull, and then drain out the excessive oil.